Hi, my name is Jenny Collery. I'm a liaison here at UCD Library for the Arts and Humanities, and I'm going to show you how to find and search historical newspapers online from the library. The best place to start searching is from the library's newspapers guide. The easiest way to get the guide is from the link shown on the previous slide or go to the library website and select A to Z index, then N for newspapers. Scroll down the page and look for the link to the newspapers guide and you'll be brought to this page here. On the right hand side of the screen, one of the options is our main online newspapers. Here you can see most of the newspapers that we have available online. The historical ones we'd be looking at are the Irish Times Digital Archive and the Irish Newspaper Archive. Then other historical newspapers include 19th century British Library newspapers and the Times Digital Archive. To access any of these newspapers, you can simply click on the title you can also go through UCD Connect, Library and Databases. The first one I'm going to show you is the Irish Newspaper Archive. So I click on the title to begin accessing it and then click on where it says Resource. This will bring me to the UCD Connect login screen because I'm off campus. So I just log in with my Connect username and password. And this should bring me into the database. This is the home page of the Irish Newspapers Archive and there are some very short tutorials which show you exactly how to search it. So these are worth having a look at. Now I'm going to show you a couple of things. Firstly, I'd like to show you how to browse a particular newspaper and navigate to a date and a year. So if I click on browse in the top right, I'm brought into the Irish Independent here. If you want to change titles, you can use the drop down list under select title on the left. So let's say I'm interested in the Freeman's Journal. I simply scroll down and look for the Freeman's Journal and click on it. And I want to see what's been said in the Freeman's Journal around 1916, just after the rising. To do that, I click on 1916 from the bar at the top and you can see I'm brought into the January edition here. So just after the rising would be around May. So I'm just on a whim going to choose Monday, May the 8th and see what's there. Remember in most of these papers, the first page would consist of ads. So if you want to see what's on the page in front of you properly, you can zoom in using the plus and then you can drag the screen around to have a look and see what's there. So if we look at the second page, I can see that there's some article there. So I'm going to zoom in and have a look at the title. And when I look at the title, it is of interest, the true causes of the Sinn Féin insurrection. If I double click on that, I'm brought into the article itself extracted from the newspaper. And if I scroll down, you can see here, it's the image of the article itself. Now, some of them are a bit difficult to read, so you can use this text option on the top right. In this case, it may not help a huge amount and it actually might be easier to read the image, but it's always worth a go. On the top left hand side, there's all these options of printing, saving, emailing, um, or sharing on social media. So just remember when you find something you think is good and that you're going to use, print it or email it to yourself or save it or do something so that you can access it when you're not online in case you ever have any problems getting at it again. So that's an article that we found in the Freeman's Journal, but let's say we're interested to see what other papers are saying on the same day in the same year. So if we use the drop down, we'll go to the Derry Journal and see what's been said there. So we had gone to May, so we select um, May and 1916 from the top. And that will bring us to the correct month and year. 
so it was Monday the 8th I'll click on Monday the 8th here and again I'm brought into page one so I would guess that most of this is um, advertisements so I'm going to go on to page two and I can see that there's some sort of article here so if I zoom in just like I did before and scroll down to where the title is it looks like yes this is something of interest revolt and after in Dublin so you can see what's being said in the Derry Journal compared to the Freeman's Journal about the same event again you just double click and this might look blank but if you just scroll down you'll be brought to the image of the article itself just wait for the title to appear so that's how you browse to a particular newspaper title and how you navigate to a particular year on this database. Next, I want to search for information on a person. That person is Alice Milligan. In order to help me search for the right Alice Milligan in the year and the place where she lived, I'm going to look up the Dictionary of Irish Biography. This will describe the main events in Alice's life and help me search. To access the Dictionary of Irish Biography, I go to UCD Connect, Library, I select Databases, and then type in Dictionary of Irish Biography. I click on the title. And I'm brought into the database itself and this is a record of famous Irish people who have passed away and you'll get very detailed entries about their lives so I'm going to type in Alice Milligan here and click search and you can see here now I've got quite a detailed entry about Alice's life which I'm going to read and pick out the main information from Next, I'm going to search for information about Alice on the Irish Newspapers Archive. So I go into search results here at the top right and I've got a search field. So I'm going to type in Alice's name, Alice Milligan, and make sure you're always spelling correctly. Now, that's a common enough name. There might be other Alice Milligans. So in the biography, um, in the Dictionary of Irish Biography, I learned the year she was alive. So I might just type in the year from which she finished school, which would be around 1888 um, to maybe a few years after she died, we'll say 1960. She died in 1953. So we've narrowed down by year and you click on the search button here on the top right. So you can see here we've got our results and you can scroll through the headlines to see if them are of particular interest. The date of each of the article is written here. So if you just click on the title on the right, it should bring you into that particular article itself. And this one is a tribute to Alice Milligan that you can read and it gives an outline of her life and some of her achievements. So that was from 1953. But let's say you're looking at your results and you're thinking, OK, I like stuff that's a bit more contemporary to her time. At the top here, you can change the order of the results. So if you click oldest, that will bring you to results that are from 1988 onwards. So now you can scroll through the results and see if any of them are of any interest. And it's of this particular point where having read the, uh, the entry in the Dictionary of Irish Biography can help you for interest. And um, this one is Glimpses of Era, which she wrote with her father. So that probably might be of interest. And we also know that the first thing she wrote herself then was a Royal Democrat. So that's some sort of announcement or something about the book itself uh, being published. So you'll always have to scroll through and find the bit that is of relevance. So you can see here it's describing it as a sensation of novel. So it would be something where you could understand how Alice was viewed in her time and how she was written about. Now we'll move on 
in our searching. And what you can also do is add search terms here. So we know that she was an editor of Shan van Vught, so we might add that. So using um, where it says near, the near option, if we click the drop down and select and, and just type in Shan van Vught, then what we should get is some entries where both Alice Milligan and Shan van Vught are mentioned and click search. So now we have our results and again you'd scroll through those and see which ones you think are of relevance to you. So for example here we have um, the death of her friend and co-editor Ethna Carberry. So again this would be something that might be of interest to you. Now it'll be at this point that you might go back to the entry in the Dictionary of Irish Biography and pick out the key points that are in it. For example, the Northern Patriot, um, that she was working for the Gaelic League as a lecturer, the Henry Joy McCracken Literary Society. And you could search all those things with Alice's name to see if you can find anything of interest. Also, remember, you can get a bit lost in these databases. So put a time limit on how long you're going to search and take regular breaks to give yourself time to think about what you're looking for. So now it's your turn. I would suggest that you pause this video and do a search yourself. Go to the Irish Newspapers Archive and look for articles on James Joyce and Ulysses. Limit your search results to the year it was published, 1922, and about 1950. See what you can find. The next newspaper I'm going to show you is the Irish Times Archive. And we have this available from 1859 to 2011. So just like with the Irish Newspaper Archive, you click on the title to get into it and then click on where it says resource. Because I'm already logged in to connect, it didn't ask me to log in again. Now, to look at the Irish Times for a particular day, you click on publications. You'll be brought to this screen, which lists nine publications. So the ones we're interested in are the ones between the dates 1874 to 1920, and 1921 to current. Um, so we click on where it says 1874 to 1920. So it's very easy to navigate to a particular date. You simply use this um, choosing an issue view. So before we looked at 1916, so let's try that again. 1916, May the 8th. So we select May and the 8th. We just scroll down here and then click view issue. So the Irish Times is a bit different than the Irish newspaper archive. It doesn't show you the images with the full page and then clicking on the image. It gives you a list of the articles themselves. So if you remember, the first pages are generally ads. So you'll need to scroll through the ads unless you have a particular interest in them and then you might click on them and look for something that says article. Some of the articles don't have any title. They just say article number one or article number two and some of them do have a title. So let's say this one here, a brave young officer. We click on that and we are brought into an image of that particular article in the newspaper. And you see we've got the full details, May the 8th, 1916, and it's on page two of the Irish Times and the Weekly Irish Times, which you'd need for referencing and citation. So this would be a way of reading how an event was reported in a different way in a different newspaper. Um, this is about a particular um, military person, a British military person who died as a result of the Rising. And uh, what's interesting as well here is the language um, the rising is referred to as the Sinn Féin revolt. 
and a little bit further down at the bottom as the Dublin Rising. So if I was doing research on this, what I would do, having read that then, is I would think, OK, I'm going to do a little search and see does the Irish Times have other articles referring to the Dublin Rising or the Sinn Féin was vote. So to do that, we just type in Dublin Rising. If we put it in inverted commas, it will find the exact phrase. So it'll narrow down our search and then we select or a Sinn Féin revolt. And again, we can put that in inverted commas to narrow down our search and click search. So that's how you match the language of the time to the database because we would probably refer to it as the Easter Rising or the 1916 Rising. So this would give us an interesting uh, report on what was an event, a historical event, and how it was reported at the time. And you can just click into the journal or the newspaper articles themselves and see what was being said there. Now, let's say um, I want to do a search like I did in the newspaper archive, Irish newspaper archive, um, on a person. And let's say this person is Francis Sheehy Skeffington. So again, we're looking in a historical source and I need to find out a few things about who Francis Sheehy Skeffington was. So another reference resource that you can go to besides the dictionary of Irish biography is the Oxford Dictionary of National Biography. And this can be accessed through databases um, from UCD Connect from the library. So I've looked up Francis Sheehy Skeffington and I've read this and I've found out about his life. Um, he worked for women's rights, uh, where he went to school, where he went to college and various different things. So I can use this information to search. At the beginning, I would just do the search on his name. So say uh, Francis She Skeffington. And I want to look at material from around the time that he was alive uh, rather than information that was written more contemporary. So I can do that by controlling the dates. So if I select dates and a specific range, I know that he was um, in university around 1900. He died in 1916, so I might maybe make it up as far as 1920. So that's kind of around about the time he was alive and click search and see what I get. And I get five results there. And um, if I click on the title, I get into them. And here's an interesting one about um, information on the inquest uh, into his death while in prison. And um, so as you're doing your research, you can do a little bit of reading to find out who the people or what were the events surrounding the thing you're interested in. And then you can search uh, those things as well. If I go back to my results, um, I can modify my search. If I click on modify search, and let's say I just look up his surname to make it a bit broader because we only got five results, which isn't a huge amount. Um, and I know he was interested in the suffrage movement. So I might look up suffrage and see if anything comes up then. And um, I click search. And I get 28 results there and I can just scroll through them and click on any of the titles and find out what's being said in the particular journal articles or newspaper articles. So just remember when you're searching any of these newspapers to look through different sources, don't just rely on one and to think about the language, what was the language of the time, how would things be reported and you can search then using that language. So I've shown you how to search the Irish newspaper archives and the Irish Times archive. 
We do have other historical sources which you may want to familiarise yourself with. The 19th century British Library newspapers and the Times Digital Archive, which includes the Times of London. The databases or newspaper interfaces will look different, but the principles behind them are the same. Thanks for listening. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have further questions, you can contact me on jenny.collery at ucd.ie or go to the library website and check out our chat feature.